Hi folks, we're going to take a look at JC News Now, where he gets kicked out of a courthouse for disobeying a judge's orders and threatening a law enforcement officer. I do apologize if I sound a bit different, I'm still not feeling well, and I also want to apologize in advance for any noises you may hear in the background. I'm living where it is currently snowing, and well, they are plowing the streets, so I do apologize for that. But before we start the video, as always, a big thank you to all my current channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' support, I couldn't keep the channel going. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. All right, we're in Howe County, everybody. That man did pretty good. Court clerk. This is a clerk's office. Rachel. Sir, you're not allowed to take that. Yes, I am. No, this thing says that you're not. Well, that's not a law, ma'am. Okay, we created privacy. Let's look at the thing she's talking about. Not a read. You ignore your fuck. Well, JC, can you read? Because that clearly states that that is a judicial order issued out by the judge saying that no devices may be used in the courtrooms or the clerk's office without prior permission or specific permissions granted to you and since it has a ruling on it and it is not going to violate your constitutional rights you cannot bitch and moan about it being unconstitutional or unlawful okay this is what she's talking about <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, it's pretty cool. Let's go check this out. Casa House. Right on. Okay, that's private. We won't go in there. everybody he's about to do something stupid hi how's everybody today what are y'all doing here you can't record in the offices you can yes I can there, no, you can't. yes I can I well, can and I will and I'm going to no you can't record in the offices. You can record it out there in the hall, fine, but not in here. What law is that? That's by order of the judge. What judge? Show me the order. Either step out in the hall or I'm going to take you out in the hall. You going to put hands on me? Yes, sir. I'll sue you. I'll okay. put my name on your okay. pension. Okay, that's all right. What's your name and your badge you number? You need to step out in the hall. What's your name and your you badge need to number? step out in the hall. You put hands on me, I'll defend myself. Yeah, well, good luck with that. You need we to clear? step out in the hall. I'm not going to. You need to step Call out some the hall. help because you, you can't do it by yourself. Call some help. You need to step out. Get in the a hall. supervisor. My supervisor's not here right now. Come on, let's go. Don't, don't you let's touch go. me. Don't you put hands on me. This is a lawsuit, sir. Okay. Everybody see what's happening? Look at this. This guy put his hands on me. What's your name? What's your badge number? Deputy Crown over 271. Okay, you're dismissed. You put your hands on me, sir. That's a lawsuit. Shenanigans. Na 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 na. Shenanigans. Na 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 na. 
Oh, JC, when will your shenanigans and buffoonery ever end? Because you don't have any grounds for a lawsuit. He did not violate your civil rights, and he, you do not have an excessive force grounds for a lawsuit due to the fact that he used very limited force to escort you out of the office that you were told that you were not allowed to record in due to a judge's order. The judge's order that you so showed us in the beginning of this video. Therefore, any lawsuit that you may threaten was dead on arrival due to the fact okay, You better call a city lawyer. Do it again, you're gonna pick yourself up off the floor. You understand? I'll defend myself. You ain't got a law to put your hands on me. You ain't got calls. I'll go anywhere the public's allowed to go. You gonna babysit me now? Yeah, unfortunately, I guess we have to. Office is closed. Okay, we have to late. Can't go in there. I'm gonna sue you, sir. Okay. You just lost your qualified immunity. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Matter of fact, I'm gonna do that today. You picked the wrong one. I will follow through. A bunch of tyrants around here. Is this what we pay you for? Put hands on people? You fucking punk. You kick rocks, bitch. Yes, this is the toughest guy around. I mean, listen to how he talks. He's such a badass. I mean, he sounds like a seventh grader who's finally learned how to cuss. And well, it's not impressive. He's making these claims that he would lay him out on the ground. He's going to take his qualified immunity. He sounds like a blowhard and a true internet tough guy. And yet, this is what auditors think is fighting for our freedoms, yelling and acting like petulant children. Your supervisor on the way? I'm requesting the supervisor right now. No, he's not. He's I'm busy at the moment. I suggest you call him. We're going to have to talk. Well, he's in the middle of something. Okay. There's no recording inside the courtroom, sir. I'm not in the courtroom. No, there's no recording in the courtroom. I'm not in the courtroom. You don't get it, do you? Judge Ray, we know him well. We're gonna have a little word with him. Think you can just put your hands on me, you fucking punk? Lucky didn't get spiced. spiced. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here with y'all today until your supervisor gets here. How long you think it'll take him? I don't know. This punk wants to put his hands on a citizen. You understand who you work for, stupid? 
You work for us. You don't put hands on a citizen. You're going to lose your job over that. Do you understand? They asked for the supervisor to come here. They were trying to go into probate office in the court. You're a supervisor. You're a corporal, ain't you? Negative, sir. You're, I am not a corporal. You're a deputy? Yes, I am a deputy, and the supervisor is on their way Thank as you. we speak. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Deputy Poindexter, badge number 244. Thank you for being professional. I appreciate that. You don't put hands on citizens, do you? Only when they break the law. What law did I break, sir? I do not I'm talking to him. To. You want to answer? What law did I break? You put your hands on me, you, you bitch. Said, you said Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. Well, seeing how JC here wants to know what law he broke, how about we start off with this one? Missouri Disorderly Conduct Law, or 574.010. A person commits the offense of peace disturbance if he or she, one, unreasonably and knowingly disturbs or or alarms another person or persons by A. Loud noise B. Offensive language addressing in a in a face-to-face -face manner to specifically individuals and utterance that are under conditions which are likely to proceed in an immediate violent response from a reasonable recipient and C. Threatening to commit a felonious act against another person under conditions which are likely to cause a reasonable person to fear that such threats may cause may be carried out therefore jimmy your little threatening him all the i will spray you i'll lay you on the floor if a reasonable person was to hear you say that you would be guilty of a misdemeanor offense in the state of missouri where you are at and aren't you also on the run with a uh, no bond warrant at this moment? You want to speak to the supervisor? Yes, sir, I do. Way, and he'll Stupid be here motherfucker. You. Shut up. I don't want to hear nothing else from you, bitch. Yeah, you're going to lose your job. I'm fucking hot. You're damn right. Now you're. They told you. That now you're, you're not fucking, to record in that office. Now you're fucking with my First Amendment. Oh, that boy ain't right. Now, can you elaborate on how they're violating your First Amendment rights when they showed you the judge's order saying that you cannot film in the court clerk's office and that they are creating privacy to prevent you from doing that due to the judge's order that allows them to do so? He's not grabbing your camera. He's not pitting you against the wall. He's not throwing you out Uncle Phil style. No, he's simply following you around because you are disturbing the peace and being quite boisterous and violent at this point. Okay. Civil rights violation. I understand what you're trying to do. No, you don't. Act like, do. Act like me. Holding you accountable. If you go back in there, I'm gonna put you in cuffs. You put me We're in cuffs and I'll stop fucking sue you. You put your hands okay. back on me again, bitch. Okay. Without a law and okay. be picking yourself off the ground. Okay. You got it? You're threatening me again. I'm not threatening you. And I'll put you in cuffs. I'm telling Do you, you understand me? What are you trying to intimidate me? You ain't gonna put me in cuffs. You know, you're not gonna stand I'm there and you're gonna threaten me. I'm Do not you understand? You. Back off me, bitch. Back off me. You're not intimidating me, sir. Supervisor is on you his way. When he gets here, he'll talk to you. you. Fucking punk. Put me in cuffs. You ain't big enough, Junior. You put hands on a citizen. That's a lawsuit. You're going to lose your job. You lost your qualified immunity anyway. If you don't lose your job, I'm going to make sure your job. You're going to be badge number six. <laughs> How's that for a threat? I'm threatening you with litigation. You like that? You wouldn't be the first one. 
Oh, so you admit to doing that shit before. You fucking tyrant. Fuck you. Look at this bitch. This is why we do it, y'all. People want to enforce feelings. Now, we could all agree the only one here with some hurt fifis would be JC now. Because you're the one screaming and yelling. That officer's not trying to enforce feelings. He's actually trying to enforce a judge's order in the courthouse. And you're the one screaming and breaking the law. Disorderly conduct is a punishable offense. And with your no bond warrant and your little shenanigans that you're pulling here with your tantrum, good luck getting out. But let's... Let's jump ahead to where the sergeant shows up to deal with JC and his, well, his buffoonery and shenanigans. Hello? Hello, are you the sergeant coming to talk to me? Yes, sir. That man put his hands on me. I'd like to make a complaint right now. Okay. Can I have your name and badge and number, please? Sergeant Paul Bradshaw. Yes, sir. I don't think there's allowed any recording in the courthouse. The judges don't like that. That's courtrooms. They can't say anything about the house. Why can't they? It's restricted access into this building. No, it's not. I walked right in. Well, you didn't come through security? Yes, I did. They can't okay. stop me. It's my building. He put his hands on me without cause. Did he, did he try to come through or something? Nope. I was, I was in a public office. It and says, welcome right there. Yeah you, yeah, you can't be recording in the offices. Where's the law? Show me the law. It's a courthouse order by the Show judge. me the order. Well, I don't have it with me right now. I'd what? be more than happy to get your name and address and no, find that out and come talk to you. No, you ain't getting that. Well, why not? Because it's mean, none of your business. That's private. What do you mean it's private? It's you're, private. You're wanting to file a complaint. If yeah. you have to file a complaint, you have to tell me who no, you I are. No, I don't. I do it anonymously. Well, then you can do that now at the sheriff's office. Okay, I'll, be, I'll go right down there. Yeah. I'm going to have your badge, you bitch. Fuck you. You put your hey, hands hey, on don't me. Be talking no, like, shut up. You, no, don't, you don't, don't talk like you that don't, in this courtroom. You, you don't limit my speech, sir. Listen. You're dismissed. Get out of here. Get out. No. Get out. For what? What law? You're, you're causing a disturbance. No, you right came now. up and talked to me. Yes. Well, definitely they could arrest you for disorderly conduct. And, well, seeing how I, what I read out in the statute falls under what would cause disorderly, pee, disorderly conduct and disturbing the peace, they could have you arrested for that and quite possibly have you arrested for threats on an LEO. I did, and I was reasonable with you, and now you're cussing and screaming at us. He put his hands on the citizen, sir. sir. Well, I'm, asking, I'm upset. I'm asking you to leave then. Okay, I'm denying that since you're asking. Okay. I'll leave when I get ready. You don't tell me what to do. You got it? Okay, the judge has ordered you to leave, sir. I'm, I'm he didn't ordered. tell me that. I'm, I'm telling you that. You're not the law. You're not a legislator. I'm, I'm just telling All you. All right, I'm going to go. I'll be back. I, I'm just saying that the judge is telling us to remove you from the property. Really? Okay. This so, is, this so is public I'm property. I'm offering you an ability to walk out on your own without going somewhere else. I want to know one this. thing. If, I will try to help you out any okay. way I can. I'm going to ask you this. If I don't go, will I be arrested? Probably so, yes. No, I don't need yes. to know yes or no. I'm just saying yes. Under threat of arrest? Not under threat of arrest. No, under threat under of threat. arrest, I'll leave. Otherwise, I'm going to walk around. Tell me if you're going to arrest me if yeah, I don't I will stay. because I'm telling you to leave the judge. Okay, that's all I needed. Leave. Thank you. See you. Thanks, Bitch. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm going to have your badge, you big motherfucker. Have a good day. Thanks. Yeah. Have fuck day. off. Have a great day. Yep. Yeah, uh, fuck off. I'll see you later. <laughs> there you have it, y'all. Tyrant cops. You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. And we're ending it here. JC goes on for more of his typical yelling and screaming that he's got to take their badges and all the shenanigans that he's known for. Well, if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. Be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. And a special thank you to all current members of the news team. Without your guys' support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.